Hi everybody, Lori here for Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to bring you the reveal of the Lucky To Know You release. And this release is full of lots of fun spring and Easter themed products, as well as products that can be used for many occasions all year round. I'm gonna start the reveal with the adorable spring gnomes stamp set. Look at these gnomes. One has bunny ears, one has braids. This one's carrying a little birdie. And of course, there's the coordinating die set to go along with it. Keeping in the gnome theme, there's the she gnome die set. And I did this one, put it together because you just gotta see it to believe it. This little she gnome is adorbs. Okay, and then for the Easter theme products, we have the bunny butt peekaboo stamp set and coordinating dice set. So you get the big old bunny face and the big old bunny butt, and then lots of great Easter themed, spring themed sentiments. And then we have a classic sentiment set. This is called Just Because Word Mix 2, which coordinates with the previously released Word Mix 2 die. So you see how this die can cut out all those sentiments at once. And you can stamp them all at once and you can die cut them all at once. I especially love the variety of font choices. Some are classic, some are scripty, some are block. Next up we have the Hello Easter stamp set along with the coordinating dies. These are classic Easter images. You've got the Easter egg the cute little lamb, Easter bunny, Easter basket, and a chick. And then we have the layered tulips. So if you like a good, uh, what do you call it, two-step stamp set, it gives you that dimension. You can stamp the solid and then stamp the detail over top of it with a darker shade. Uh, next up, we have Botanical Heart. This is a previously released stamp set. Now we have the coordinating Botanical Heart die set to go with it. So you can die cut that large, floral heart and other images, as well as there's a little love you die in that die set, which is really great. Moving right along, we have four new stencils in this release. This first one is called Mushroom House. And this would be perfect if you wanna make a little home for your little gnome, a little gnome home. Got the Mushroom House cute little door, little tree and some accessories. Next up we have the Daisy Bouquet a great floral stencil, which would be great with uh, embossing paste or distress inks. And then we have a couple of layering stencil sets. This first one is called Layered Tulips. You get four little mini stencils that you can layer. So you've got the tulip stems and leaves. You get two of those you can layer, maybe use two different colors. And then you've got the tops, the blooms, the, the tulip blooms, is that what you call them? You could do that with two different shades and really make it exciting. And then the last layering stencil set is called Leaves. This comes with four little mini leaf stencils, which you can layer, or you can create a background or maybe even a wreath shape. Next up, we have the stitching panel. This is great for stitching on cards. It's extra large in size. I used a metal shim, but it die cut perfectly. I like this roller brush tool by Spellbinders to pop out all those little pieces. If that doesn't work, a retractable needle tool works like a charm. Then you can take some embroidery floss or thread, twine, yarn, whatever you have, and create really fun stitched designs on your cards. Next up we have, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, Crocus Flowers. You get two really detailed uh, die cut blooms and the next daffodil stem. So a daffodil is perfect for Easter themed projects. And then we have another one, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, Fabergé, Fabergé egg. And this die set comes with two dies. One is the large basic Easter egg shape and one is that detailed Fabergé overlay. We also have some new Kathy Zilski products. This first one is called Clean Line Faith. I love Kathy's clean style. This is perfect for Easter. There's the coordinating die set to go with it. We also have CZ Design He Is Risen and Inlaid Crosses. I die cut these to show you what they look like. Again, you can layer the word die on the backer and you can layer the detailed crosses on those solid backer crosses. Lots of different options you can do there. We also have the CZ Design Happy Birthday. And again, you get that word die, which you can layer on the shadow. 
And then next up we have some Suzy's watercolor printables. This new set is called Spring Cards. These are always popular in my house when people come over, they're like, hey, you got any of those cute printables that I could color? And they like to sit down and color them. And they work with watercolor, um, they work with Copics, Zig Clean Color crayons. This would also be cute to put as a gift in an Easter basket, just saying. We also have some new sentiment uh, strips. This is called Reverse Happy Birthday. I love that these are white on black and that makes them really pop on colorful cards. You can die cut these out with your sentiment label dies or trim them with a craft knife. Next up, we have these lettered greeting cards. These are beautiful. It's gotta be Christina Werner's handwriting. They're big, they're bold, and they're beautiful. And then we have a few new sequin mixes. We've got Poppy Bloom and Flowering Clover. There's also a yellow one that I didn't have, but I printed off the picture. It's called Spring Chick. You can see it's a cute yellow sequin mix. And that is everything in the Lucky to Know You release. Before we go, I wanted to share a couple of projects that I've created using some of the new release. This first card features the adorable She Gnome die. And then for the sentiment, I use one of the reverse happy birthday sentiment strips. This card features the leaves stencil. And for the sentiment, I use the just because word mix. And that is everything for the Lucky to Know You release. Make sure and check out the Simon Says Stamp blog for more information. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.